Hello and welcome back to Provis Gaming and EU4 Common Sense Scotland. Alright, so we are currently fabricating claims against our current ally of Sweden. Not sure how long that's going to last, but we will see. France is uh, starting to like us a teensy weensy bit better over time, but we an are annexing, I should say, uh, Burgundy. Because they no longer are of use to us. Much at all. Uh, there are quite a few disputed successions going on right now, which I think is quite fascinating. Uh, we do have some national decisions about forming the British nation once again. Um, yeah, we'll just hold off on that for now. Don't, don't do anything. We're letting England continue to colonize on our behalf. We are also gearing up for war against Tapuya. These aliens, and by aliens I mean like the sense of they are foreign and we don't understand them kind of aliens, not to be too derogatory. They like us, they converted to Protestantism, um, but we're, we're going to take them and take all their land and all their money, because I want I want their money. Their money is worth a lot. There's like 400 some of the ducats over sitting over there, we gotta take it, gotta take it. Alright, well we have some claims, blah blah blah, uh, we can build some stuff, blah blah blah, truces expire in next year with Portugal, then Tuscany, then Castile, and France is kind of irrelevant. And we are looking at these Catholic Zealots with uh, great anticipation. Although it looks like the unrest in Arguin is finally starting to tick down. Let's go ahead and send these units to join up with the rest. We should fairly easily stomp on these uh, these natives. Shouldn't be too hard. They're on Tech 9. I'm on Tech 12. I mean, I've got cannons. They have infantry only. I mean, it's not really even a fair fight. So let's, let's deal with them quickly. So that we can uh, go ahead and turn off our army maintenance. Because that's the only reason I'm still spending all that money. And I have a big army that's being funded right now, so... Oh, right. I need diplomats. So, you know what, France? You can just wait a little while. You can wait a little while. Let's declare war. We're going to take your territory. Sweden won't join. No surprise. Bam. Not a problem. Let's go and stomp on the natives. Feels so bad for you guys right about now. Oh, we did finish exploring the coast of something or other. Rio Grande? Probably it was Rio Grande. Let's go ahead and explore the Hudson Bay because that's a part of Canada that I anticipate I might make use of at some point. So let's do that. That's 17 war score right there. Can we detach and move into your Terra Incognita? We most certainly can. So we're going to do that. This is actually one good way of starting to explore the map a little bit when you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Let's find an enemy and just go march around and uh, explore territory. You can do that even if you don't have a Conquistador. Also, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. Darn it. Okay, send him to join. I just realized uh, I am currently very cannon heavy. And if he's training any more troops, this could go badly for me. Uh, looks like Sweden's king just died. That's unfortunate for them. Let them laugh at my army. Ten prestige. Who would laugh at my army? My army just took over France. I don't even know what you're talking about. We're doing just fine. We're, what are you torquing aboard? All right. Uh, we managed to conquer all their territory except for their fort, by the look of it, which we are using our fleet to blockade. Who's this? Here's somebody we haven't met, but I know that they are there. I can see that uh, that unambiguous little shade of teal or cyan or some sort of light blue. Chicken cordon bleu. All right. Well, let's send the rest of the military to go and siege down this fort a little bit faster. Royal marriage with Sweden... No, actually, because I fully intend on betraying you soon, and this will save me the trouble of having to deal with you. We are at 100% war score already. Nice, quick, tidy little war. Let's take all of your territory. Why not? That's only 27... Uh, that's only 27 war score after all. We can take 448 freaking ducats. We don't want to release any nations, although it looks like that's how he grew, as he conquered a couple of people, so meh. We'll have you give up your claims. Wait, is that who they are? Tapuninaba. Tampuninaba. So that's who you are. All right, well, now we have a name, even if we still can't do anything with that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take all this territory. Why not? We'll feed it to our uh, version of Portuguese... Uh, not sorry, not Portuguese. Scottish Brazil, when the time officially comes. Let's go ahead and core this territory. Won't take too long, all things considered. Uh, looks like Burgundy... Wow! Burgundy hightailed it down here. Good on you, Burgundy. I am impressed. I am very muchly impressed of what you have done. That's that's cool. We can hunt for the seven cities. Armies under orders to hunt for the seven cities will automatically chart nearby unexplored provinces in search for the legendary seven cities of gold. This is a use for my conquistador. Can I just use three infantry? So if I... What if I tell you no leader? 
send you over this direction so you're out of my way. Get the Conquistador. I could hunt for the Seven Cities. All right, yeah, let's lose our uh, use our Conquistador and start searching for the uh, Seven Cities. It's not going to happen, but maybe we'll find this uh, this primitive population and we can declare war on them, take their money, because again, natives in this game for some reason stockpile an absolute ton of money. You gotta love it. Uh, Regency Council in Sweden, that's funny. Cheap iron has expired, that's too bad. Uh, we can go ahead and lower the maintenance cost of our army a little bit, I think. And that shouldn't cause too much trouble? Yeah, alright, we'll do that. Uh, we could still... Yeah, let's go ahead and invest in the next level of exploration ideas. We're a little bit behind in Diplotech, it's true. And we do get extra legitimacy from this, which is quite nice. But uh, mostly I want to make sure that these colonies grow fairly quickly. We actually have two colonies growing right now. Um, despite having only one colonist, because I do have a colony growing in Bermuda currently. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You can do that. One doesn't grow nearly as fast as the other without having a... A uh, colonist, it's true, but mostly it just costs you a lot of extra money to do that. So it's not really advisable in most senses. Let's go ahead and dock up this fleet. And, uh, oh, we found some natives. Maybe I should keep my mili my um, my army maintenance up. If they're going to be fighting natives as they go, that could be kind of bad. Yeah, maybe we should keep it up there. I don't want them dying. Losing my conquistador would be very unfortunate right about now. Very unfortunate. Oh, yep, there's some more natives. Okay, well, they're just gonna sit here and rest for a little bit, and now they're gonna go explore those guys. Civil War, don't care. Austria's the Emperor, again, don't care. We have our Cassus Belly against Sweden. That's fun. Alright, uh, nope, 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 cancel that. We want to fabricate a claim on Akershus. Do mostly to clean up a little bit of border gore, not gonna lie. Now, one thing I noticed in the last episode that was very unfortunate is that Denmark has died. I was really hoping to vassalize Denmark and using that to feed a lot of cores out of Sweden. And yes, that would mean that I need to diplomatically annex somebody eventually, but the main reason I wanted to do that was I can take a lot more from Sweden. Uh, I can go above 100% overextension in the peace deal because I'm gonna be feeding a lot of that territory directly to Denmark. It means I can weaken Sweden a lot more in one war which is kind of nice. So, goodbye, rip, rip Denmark. It's very unfortunate that you are, um, wait, wait a minute. Oh, Denmark! You are alive! You've got a tiny little island, a little 111 island, but Denmark's here! Okay, hang on, that changes things a little bit. I could conceivably make them like me, and then try to vassalize. That would be fun. Maybe we should do that. Uh, Menace, again, let's go ahead and get ourselves the Prestige. If they return, we will kill them. Whoop! Bleeding gums and falling teeth. Oh, guys, you got scurvy. With a diet consisting mostly of cured and salted meat and dried grains, the malaise and lethargy have been the first symptoms recognized as scurvy, but it was not until gums started bleeding and teeth falling out that we realized we have to do something to save our expedition members as they are exploring provinces they ha uh, that have an unknown flora and fauna to us. It would be unwise to eat anything as it could be poisonous. Maybe we should try to contact the nobles. Do I spend money or admin power? Oh, man. Well, I mean, spend the money. It is, uh, it's unfortunate, really. Uh, I, I just kind of got a lot of that money, but... Oh, look. There's the natives. Who's this? Dupinabra. Let's fabricate a claim against you as well. We could make you a protectorate, but really, who wants to do that? How much money you got, Dupi? How much you got, Dupi? Doopy, 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 numbra. You got 577 ducats. Oh, yeah, we're taking, we're definitely declaring war on you. We are mostest, definitelyest taking a war. It is time. We'll let you explore for just a wee little bit longer. You've done your job, Mr. Conquistador Man. Uh, okay. Scotland's opinion, uh, Sweden's opinion of us or Diplo Power. I'm going to lose the opinion because I'm about to lose a lot more opinion when uh, I declare war on them and betray them. Of course, if they're going to dissolve the alliance for me, I guess that wouldn't even be a bad thing, per se. Our agent was discovered by the natives fabricating a claim, a legal claim against territory that Scotland could not possibly have known existed until recently. And somehow we're going to suffer the aggressive expansion for it. I find that kind of funny. I do. I do, I do, I do. Oh, come on, Catholic zealots. Just stop it. Stop it. <sighs> not accepted culture, years of separatism... I mean, that might tick down a little bit pretty soon. War exhaustion, overextension, these are all things I'd like to just have go away fairly soon. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. All right, we can explore a little bit more up in Iceland. Uh, explore the coast of the White Sea in Europe. 
I mean, I don't feel like colonizing up there. South America? Let's just send him to circumnavigate the globe. It's probably fine. Let's go ahead and circumnavigate that dear grobe. Grobe. Uh, I could probably park an army on Arguin or whatever, and it would be okay. Probably. Probably. Hmm. Not sure I want to do that or not, though. Do I? Maybe I should. Or is it more important that I kill the natives and gain 500 ducats? I think it's more important that I kill the natives and gain 500 ducats. Are we still ahead of time? By a year. All right, that's 10%, so we're going to wait on that for a little bit longer. Uh, but we are getting close on our military power, so come January, I think we can just go ahead and buy the next level of military tech, which will get us artillery shock, artillery fire value, and better cannons. A very good tech level, I would say. We are, of course, dropping in our power projection. That's to be expected right about now. November, still no problems. Let's just make sure we don't get capped out. I don't want to forget, so I'm watching this like a hawk. December, oh good! Alagoas just became, uh, became, uh, finished up! Excellent! And we got base production in there, and we just got our first ever colonial nation! Say hello, everybody, to Scottish Brazil. Now, Scottish Brazil just took all of the cores. So, that's a thing. Uh, oh, I'm black flagged. Are you serious right now? Okay. Do I want to call it Scottish Brazil? Or, um... Uh, you know what I'm going to call it? I'm going to call it Terra Nova. Terra Nova, which is basically like New Earth. Because that's basically what we considered it to be. And now from henceforth it shall be known as Terra Nova once the name updates. There we go. It updated. Okay, and we're no longer black flagged. Even better. So as soon as this core finish... Uh, sorry, not core. We gain a conquest, Cassus Belly. Why on earth would we want that? As soon as this uh, claim has finished, we will go ahead and declare war. Take the money. Feed the province to... Terra Nova. And actually, let's take a quick look at what they can do. So, Terra Nova has Governor Fraser Hepburn. Uh, they have exploration, I'm oh, sorry, expansion ideas, plutocratic ideas, and economic ideas. Good. I'm glad that they have expansion ideas because that means that they should have a colonist of their own. And they will be able to colonize the region and grow on their own without much help from me. Let's take a quick look at expansion ideas and see what they can do. So, yeah, there's a colonist. Merchant, global settlers, recruitment time, diplomatic relations, shipbuilding time, global trade powers, and Cassus Belli against Asia and Africa. Not really as useful as exploration ideas would have been. Kind of wish they had those instead, but they don't, so we'll make do with what we got. Rely more on trade income? I really don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Let's take a quick look. Uh, 40%. That's pretty big. I'm still not sure what the trick is to get this. I know you can, I just don't know what it is. Uh, do we want the Mamluks to like us? Uh, is that even possible? Mamluks. Not really. Conquered rival provinces. Different religion. Yeah, I mean, they don't, they don't, oh, that's Tunis, I'm sorry. Mamluks. Uh, conquered rival province. Yeah, in theory, we could possibly make this work. We only have, like, seven years to do it, though. Or we could just conquer Cola. I'm going to take the mission to conquer Cola. Because maybe by the time we finish fabricating claims against Sweden, we'll actually be able to pull them into a war against Novgorod. I really think that that could be the best thing to do. Just, you know, pull Sweden into a war with Novgorod, let them throw a lot of their troops away, and then uh, we go kill them. We go kill Sweden while they're weak. I mean, it's, it's a horrible thing to do. But I like the idea. Look at Terra Nova building troops! Oh, I love you guys. You're so awesome. It hurts. Let's declare war against these natives. There we go. Terra Nova, of course, has to join our wars, which is kind of fun. Oh, they joined the fight and nearly got stomped out, so that's fun. Either way, though, that war is oh, almost done. I'll let you siege that down. Let me go squish these guys. There we go. Squish. Squishy, squish. Squishy, squishy, squish. And let's go siege down this province. Conversion successful in the Azore Islands. That's cool. Arguin is down, as far as unrest is concerned, so hopefully that won't take too much longer. I could convert the Canaries, or I can convert Madeira, which is in Terra Nova. Maybe Ter Can Terra Nova do that? Wait a minute. Madeira? No, it is not. What am I talking about? Where's... Ah. Mad... Yera. Oh, it's this island right here. My mistake. Uh, hmm. 
Well, we'll just do the easy one, I think. Let's go ahead and start converting in the Canary Islands. Uh, honored military alliances, no surprises there against these pathetic little primitives. Not really much of an issue, but I'm glad that they're all on board. Let's take a quick look and see... Whoops, that's Terra Nova. I want to see myself. Okay, so as far as relationship slots are concerned... Oh, I still have military access with Milan. Oh, damn. I'm an idiot. How did I keep that? Seriously, I always forget about military access. This is one of the reasons I don't do that. It's because I always forget about it. Why wasn't there a pop-up saying I had too many diplomatic relations? Isn't there usually a pop-up that says you have too many diplomatic relations? Whatever. So one cool thing about having a colonial nation is that uh, they don't take up one of your diplomatic relations. We lost a ship. Uh, this must be our explorer who is circumnavigating the globe. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Hopefully you don't lose everything. There's the Siege of uh, Pambu. Alright, Siege of Pambu is done. So let's go ahead and take your province. We'll feed that to Terra Nova. Let's take all of your delicious, delicious money. And there's nothing else we can do with you. So that's going to be good enough. Bam. And that automatically gets fed to Terra Nova. Wunderbar. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is one of the reasons I love taking on... The natives, because they are just worth so much. It's another reason, honestly, to start colonizing in areas that are close by, you know? Put a colony right up here, for example. Fabricate a claim on Mi'kmaq. Mi'kmaq? Mi'kmaq? Mi'kmaq. And uh, declare war. Just take out all the natives. It's great. Tariffs. Ooh, excuse me. Tariffs on naval supplies. Do we gain tariff value from Terra Nova? Or do we have a chance of getting a mere 10 admin power? I'm going to take the tariff. Oh, damn. We are capped up. On uh, our tech, I'm an idiot. That's why I was watching it like a hawk. Doesn't appear to have done much for me. Let's go ahead and grab military tech 13. We now have better cannons. Love seeing that. So let's upgrade those. Do we want large cast iron cannons or small cast iron cannons? I think that the fire value is going to be the most valuable to me at this point. So we'll take that instead. Still have plenty of military uh, power, actually. Could probably do some stuff with that. But anyway, all right, let's go ahead and start uh, improving relations, I guess, with Denmark. I'm really hoping that they're going to like me at some point, enough to become a vassal. Uh, let's go ahead and fabricate a claim on... Wait, that. Wait a minute. Before I do that, start uh, taking more territory out of Novgorod, or at least claiming more. Let's take a look at Muscovy. Muscovy, it appears, has a claim on everything in Novgorod. That sucks. So whatever territory I take out of Novgorod will inevitably upset Muscovy in the process. I kind of would have liked to have them as an ally. Hmm. 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 You can't have any claims on Sweden, do you? No, you don't. That's unfortunate. Huh. Muscovy could be fun to take into a war against Sweden. Could be a pretty valuable ally. Brittany decided to join a military coalition. I guess their truce with them must have expired and I didn't notice, or they just finally decided to get involved in it. How's that coalition map more looking? I'm kind of scared to look. Oh yeah, I mean it's there. Oh, we have Catholics. Darn it. All right. Oh, and in Arguin as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't convert that stuff. Don't convert that stuff. I know you're going to. Oh, come on. What are the odds I can get there in time before they siege it down? Pretty low. Man, they're going to convert these things back to Catholicism. I'm going to have to do this all over again. Damn you! Stupid Catholics! Well, there it goes. <sighs> well, we're back to Catholic. Not happy about that. Not happy one little bit. So... Let's go ahead and land our troops and squash this rebellion. Where are your rebel friends now? Siege you back down. Dang, that upsets me. That's annoying. That is really irritating. <sighs> Alright, we'll let you recover for another month. There you go. Uh, let's go ahead and dock up the ships. Send you guys on attach. Doop, doop. And up to the Canaries Islands. Come on. Transport here. Alright. Well, just get up there and I'll let you do your thing. 
<sighs> okay, I have a colonist sitting around not doing much of anything. I should go ahead and send him to Bermuda to finish it a little bit faster. Now that we've finished a colonial nation down here, I don't feel like I need to use my colonists in this area too much more. Terra Nova should be able to expand on their own so long as they have some money. Which uh, they may not have. I may actually want to consider sending them some subsidies. Do we want Diplo Power? Yes, we want Diplo Power. I am woefully lacking in the Diplo Power. So let's do that. Hey, Catholics! How dare you! Those are my friends! Those are my brothers of the faith! I'm gonna kill you all for this! In the name of God! The right version of the Christian God. Yeah. Alright. Well, siege that back down. Good news is we already had a mission. Oh, wait, no. Where's our missionary? Did our... There's it is. Okay, so our missionary was already in the progress of converting this, so it didn't lose any progress. So I didn't lose anything out of this, really. I just lost this one province, which is very irritating to me. But, you know what? What can you do? What can you do? We're getting a little bit high on admin power. I'm thinking pretty soon that we need to, um, we need to go ahead and conquer some territory away from Sweden. Definitely want to conquer some territory away from Sweden. Let's take Lapland well, as well, just for the sake of the borders. Uh, because, you know what? Border gore. And it's really, really thin, long strip. I wouldn't mind making it a little bit fatter. So, yeah. Hmm. Well, this has been interesting. In the meantime, we are still annexing Burgundy. Eh, slowly but surely, we'll finish that off. Once I finish up Bermuda, I need to decide where I want to start colonizing next. I'll probably start um, colonizing the Canadian region. That could be kind of good, I suppose. Drunken Explorer finally... <laughs> finally expired. The guy finally got his act together. Do we even have the explorer? Or did he die? Oh, wait. Oh, he's gone. Well, then why did I lose the drunken explorer a long time ago? Our explorer is dead. He sank. He sank with the ship. I bet you that fleet is entirely gone, isn't it? Yep. I'm pretty sure that fleet just went entirely gone. I thought I sent three ships, but apparently all three sunk instead of just one, as I was otherwise led to believe. Damn. All right. Well, actually, do we even need another explorer at this point? I mean, probably not, honestly. We've already discovered everything we really want to discover, at least for this stage of the game. Maybe parts of Africa? Nah, but we're still not even in range of being able to do that. I don't know. Maybe we won't get another explorer. I'm not sure we need it quite now. Uh, so let's just uh, let's save the diplomatic power. It could be useful. All right, well, that has been enough for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with EU4 Common Sense Scotland. If you enjoyed this video, then I hope you'll consider hitting that like button. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.